to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing some deep cleaning. I'm basically just going to clean some of the things that I usually avoid so we're gonna be starting off with the wash machine this is one of the things that I neglect a lot so I filled up a bucket with some hot water some pine saw and a little bit of bleach and I'm using a microfiber cloth to wipe everything down and then y'all will also see me use one of the attachment heads that I ordered off of Amazon for our drill so I'll link that down below so I did use one of them for the washing machine Think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost, still you go through walls. Keep on acting small. Even if you got something left to lose. Even if there is something left So I didn't deep clean inside of the washing machine this time. I just wiped it out i did order these uh deep cleaning tablets off of amazon i'll probably put the name on the screen but i didn't i don't really like how they work i don't feel like the wash machine got clean and i don't feel like it smelled good after either so the cheaper way that i like the most is just adding like running a cycle and then adding baking soda and vinegar and then i wanted to try those uh, fresh tablets too so if y'all tried them before let me know how y'all like them if it's worth me buying or should i just stick to baking soda and vinegar but i didn't have that this time so i couldn't run like a cycle but anyway i used the drill on the outside of the washing machine washing machine too and at first i thought that the the spots that y'all would see were dirt spots but they was actually just like rust like the paint was coming off the washing machine but overall i like how the washing machine turned out after dream last night did everything i never do in real life i stepped into a room told everyone to be quiet because i had something to say blew everybody away with whatever i want dressed in a gown okay so i know y'all gonna be like girl what is this so this is the sink that the washing machine drains the water into so let's get into the story of this okay so um well it's not much of a story but let's just get into it so at first one y'all never really see me put the clothes in the mind job first before we get into that i did pour hot water over the sink and then in the spray bottle is pine saw mixed with bleach so and then i'm also using comet but anyways back into the, like the whole thing so at first the y'all never see me put clothes in the dryer because in the where the dryer is is in the back room of the basement where the washing machine was at originally so um i don't really record that much because in that area it's darker so i just don't like how the footage looks so i usually don't show it when the where the washing machine was at a few videos ago i talked about how the pipes messed up so every time when we flush and there's people that live above us every time any one of us flush our home or like the people above us it would come up in the basements which was it was a lot um so anyway where it would come up at is where the washing machine was at so we ended up having to move the washing machine i don't know why there's two um, laundry hookups but it is um anyway we had to move the washing machine near this sink and when we when we moved it i saw how bad the sink was but i'm not gonna lie to y'all i didn't even care i just i didn't care i only and this is me being like honest i didn't care about how the sink looked until i had to start like recording over here and then i realized like y'all can see how bad the sink was from the corner of the video i'm not even gonna lie i would i would have left it like this 
but I was like, I can't keep letting it be like this for the video. So that's me being honest. The basement that we have, we do not have a finished basement. I don't know, y'all probably can tell. We don't have a finished basement. It's very much like a basement, dusty. Um, yeah, and nobody comes down here except for like when we wash clothes. So I just didn't care. Um, and I don't know why it looked like this. I think it, I'm really honestly thinking it was just nothing but like just a bunch of dirt piled up on here for some reason I don't know um but yeah we just we didn't just move here we've been here not even a year so that it was just like this before we moved in and I guess nobody ever cleaned it and so y'all can see it looks better it was clean but there was a lot of dents and like stains that just wouldn't come off so I just let it I just feel like it looks better so yeah, but anyway, we're moving on to the fridge, and I really needed to clean this fridge because the next day we was ordering groceries. Well, we, I needed to clean the fridge because the fridge was a mess, but the next day we was ordering groceries. So I'm filling up the sink with some hot water, some bleach, and some Mr. Clean, and I'm just going to use that to wipe out the fridge. I don't need you. I don't need you, you, yeah. I need a new apartment, my own safe haven, and not the dump you live in. I don't need you, cause I got high ambitions, a boss bitch vision. I'm granting all my wishes. I don't need you, cause you. So I feel like every time I clean out this fridge, it's empty but every time i clean out the fridge is usually the day before we are about to order or go get groceries so i wanted to ask y'all how often do y'all go grocery shopping do y'all go weekly monthly so we go weekly and a lot to y'all not we went to walmart i swear we got like bread a bag of chicken nuggets some fries like very little food and it came up to 80 dollars. i might be being dramatic but I don't even think it was like four bags of food that we got. So um, anyway, food is just expensive. Y'all already know that. So I was thinking about like start, I was going to start watching videos on like meal ideas for like a family of four, like cheap budget friendly meals. And just um, like the kids really like those, you know, kids like snacks. Like they, they like the um, applesauce pouches and stuff like that. So I was thinking I was going to get like small containers that have those twist lids. And I was just going to use them and just get like a big thing of applesauce, fill up the lid, fill up the containers. And then it'd be like cups of applesauce or like get cans of fruit and do the same thing. And just stuff like that because their snacks is getting expensive too. So yeah, I'm going to start adding things like that into my videos to and just um yeah just try to do like budget friendly meals and stuff like that so we'll see um but if y'all have any like tips on spending less on food or like meal ideas then let me know down below there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed cause baby I was wiping the outside of the fridge with uh, these disinfecting wipes and making sure to do the top because I really don't never wipe the top of the fridge. So I wanted to make sure I did that. And in that bag was Christmas cookies. So my boyfriend at his job, this guy gave him like a bag of Christmas cookies and he would not let me throw the bag of cookies away. It's now February. He would not let me throw the cookies away. And he's like me, like when somebody gives us stuff, we hold on to it more because we're like appreciative of it. But I was like, we had to get rid of these cookies. We didn't try to give them to people. Uh, we tried to eat as much as we could. And yes, I'm like, it's time to let these cookies go. But moving on to the oven. So I got this, y'all see how bad it is. I got this steam cleaner off Timu. It was 
it was sent to me. Um, and so for a while, I was thinking about ordering a handheld steam cleaner, but I just didn't want to spend $50. So I was grateful that it was actually sent to me. Um, so at first, y'all can see, I was trying to use just the steam cleaner to remove this pizza sauce off of the door, but it wasn't really coming up. So I ended up spraying inside of the oven with the Dawn Power Wash and then using the steam cleaner to um, get everything up. My best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless So the steam cleaner, it definitely helped and it did make things a little bit easier, but you don't need a steam cleaner. Like if you're someone like me, you can't really afford spending $50 on a steam cleaner or if you have it, but you don't find it as necessary, it's not necessary at all. Like before I had the steam cleaner, I would just use the easy off um, oven cleaner and y'all will see that in a few clips. So the yellow can is the one that has the fumes. So it's very, very strong. You'll be coughing, all of that. But this blue one is fume free. Um, I don't think it works as good as the yellow one, but if you don't want all of those fumes, then the blue one will be good. So I didn't have a lot left. So I just used a little bit of it to spot clean those, those leftover burnt spots in the oven. And so while that was sitting, I'm using the steam cleaner around the handles because y'all can see like it really, um, it really needed to be clean. So a few videos ago, people were telling me that I can let the inside of the oven and the oven racks sit with some oven cleaner and then put like saran wrap over them or put them in a bag. So I, like I said, the oven cleaner was running out. So I'm just using the Dawn Power Wash. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it was ridiculous how good this method worked. Like I didn't think it was going to work as good, but it really worked. So um, I'm spraying the racks with the Dawn Power Wash and then I let them sit in a bag for 24 hours. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes or a few seconds. But right here, I'm just putting the liners that I got off of Timu in there in the oven. Um, and it's not the most aesthetically like pleasing thing to look at, but I feel as though it's going to be convenient for me when things spill on it. I can just take it out and wipe them off and then put them back. But yeah, so I guess there was a hole in the bag, but when I was letting the racks sit, like the next day, I could see the grease dripping from the bag, like out of the bag. So um, I tried to clean these racks so many times and it just, the grease, the burnt stuff just never would come off, even with like Brillo pads and the Dawn Power Wash and all of that. But letting the Dawn Power Wash sit on the racks inside of the bag made a difference. So I would suggest that if y'all have racks that like need a lot of like deep cleaning, try this method even with, with either oven cleaner or the Dawn Power Wash. Um, yeah, so it worked really good. But I did make sure to keep the towel at the bottom of the racks so that way I don't scratch up the tub because the racks would definitely scratch up your tub. Okay, so I really hate how the grout looks in this bathroom. So I tried to use the steam cleaner like I've seen other people do to clean the grout, but I didn't really see a difference. When I would wipe, I didn't see nothing come up. And like I said, I just didn't see a difference. So I didn't even finish the rest of the bathroom because I felt like it would just be a waste of time. So I'm gonna try to zip 
grout cleaner next and if that don't work then i just i guess that's just how the grout looks but moving on to the next thing i wanted to wipe all of the walls in here down so i filled up the bucket with some hot water and some pine saw i really wish that the rest of the house was painted with the same paint because with this paint it's like it's just easier to wipe the rest of the house it has that cheap paint where it, when you wipe it the paint comes off too so I really just wish it was the same paint because the rest of the house really, the walls really need to be wiped down. So we probably could get the house painted. We rent here, so I doubt that the landlord would send somebody out to like repaint the walls. So I don't know if that would even like, I don't know if that would, I don't know, we'll see. But when we went to Far Below, I saw these, the Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. So I got one, it was $4. And I'm pretty sure y'all already seen these little sponges before, but you basically just wet it and then it just picks up the dust easier. So I'm just going to use this to clean off the wall where I see a lot of dust at and then also the baseboards. You call me on your bad days to make sure I cheer you up. I'm never on your good days. I wasn't worth that much. You told me I was special. But not enough to make you stay I guess you couldn't settle With somebody like me My self-esteem has reached a new all-time low At least you were So I wanted to end this video off with mopping off the floors Because I don't mop the floors as often as I should So I'm filling up the bucket with some hot water And then some Mr. Clean Then I did a, a teaspoon of OxyClean I just feel like the OxyClean helps with the mop not smelling like, you know, that, that having that dirty mop smell. Um, I always start off with a fresh mop head, but I only have one. So I had to invest in like getting multiple mop heads so I could just change them, change it every single time I mop a different room. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about the floors. I cannot stand that every single time I dump the mop water is like... Mm, coffee brown so um what was i about to say i see that is more often than it's more uh what is the word damn i forgot the word <laughs> it's more common than i thought it was i just used to think that my floor was like the only dirty floor but there, i see a lot of people do their mop dumps and it just it looks the same way so um but i do want that to change so we don't you wear shoes in the house but let me tell you with my boyfriend he wears crocs right so with his crocs i guess he considered them as slippers and outside shoes so i'll be telling him you cannot go outside with the crocs even if it's just to go grab the trash can and then come back in the house and just walk in the house like they're slippers so we had got he had got some slippers but then he didn't like how they felt on his feet so we have to i have to make sure that he gets some slippers because I really want like the, the amount of like dirt on the floors to um to just decrease and then I was thinking about also getting one of those like swift swifters so that way it, when I don't feel like doing like the full-blown mop like thing you know just swift in between mop sessions but anyway I hope that y'all enjoyed this video I hope that it was motivating for y'all I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all so much for spending time with me if you did make it all the way to the end. And um, make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Talk to me about anything down below and I will see y'all in my next one. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love.